A certain viral condiment on TikTok has exposed the dangerous sacrifice that comes with individuals entering the food business, and that's consumer safety. But is the backlash against TikTok's notorious sauce warranted? Pig sauce is canceled! From seemingly unsafe contents... I'm about to throw a... turn the video off. ...to rumors of alleged hospitalizations... Look where I ended up. Are social media users throwing a small business under the bus for clout? In a story that has the internet baffled, and a creator scrambling to provide answers... What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. Is a happy ending still possible? I'm genuinely scared for the people consuming this. Let's uncover the truth behind the viral pink sauce. Meet the internet's stickiest obsession, pink sauce. The liquid that evokes the semi-nauseating imagery of Tubby Custard and Pepto-Bismol has become fodder for a good share of viral social media posts. But with jabs that state the condiment's clientele would just as soon eat at the chum bucket, questions about whether their disregard for food safety measures is the reason why the pandemic lasted so long, and implications that lives are at risk, is there a gravity behind the trending topic that Twitter's 280 character limit just can't fully articulate? To understand what could be at stake for connoisseurs of the pigmented fluid, first, we'll have to answer one question. What is pink sauce? Regardless of first impressions, neither is it the latest craze in slime, a prop food from some wacky 80s movies version of the future, nor a science experiment gone wrong. At least, hopefully not. 